Teddy comes together to donate more than ever before. 283 teddy bears were made today, all to give to kids at Dayton Children's Hospital. Two's reporter Jake Ryle was there when the bears were made. It's a story, an example of what's working in the Miami Valley. A light shining on the reason for the season. It's normally not this crazy. Calista Hess and her family have been coordinating bears for children for nine years. Give a big kiss to the heart. It all began when she and her twin brother were in the hospital. A middle school group donated a bunch of bears and he got a stuffed monkey. A seemingly simple gift that's multiplied. So she wanted to start this and like pay it forward. The bears coming out of hibernation are being stuffed, washed, and named, all going to a good home. Yeah, we were excited just to know that it's for a good cause and to help the kids that are in need. But home is where the heart is. We got a zebra and we got Rudolph and a gold Rudolph. Today, the more than 200 bears made the journey to Dayton Children's Hospital. He's going to make somebody very happy, isn't he? Yeah, you could do a good job. To give to kids in the emergency room this holiday season. Tammy Bondurant is a mom of four. She says the decision for her family to donate 11 stuffed animals was easy. How I would feel or my kids would feel if they had to be in the hospital at Christmas. So we just chose this as a project to do. All of this, a community coming together after one good deed nine years ago. It tells that people care and it, shows, it really shows how much our community cares about each other and how much we, other people want to help each other. Kinder here just said it's nice to do something for someone. It makes her feel good. So it's kind of a win-win. You get to feel good and you know you're hopefully helping a child feel better. Coming out of hibernation. Hoping to make it an annual tradition. We keep doing it every year. Jake Ryle, 5 on 2.